Now let's add a third RFP. This is different because the part code only allows two RFPs on the system. When we add a third RFP, we will need to stop and launch a browser and go to the license server website where we will enter information about our DEC system and download a license file that will activate the built-in license features and capacity on our DEC system. So let me demonstrate the whole process including seeing the third RFP license error. I'll begin by plugging in my third RFP. Open the configurator, scan for the third RFP, When it finds it, I'll verify the MAC address, then input the third RFP's information. And I'll click on Send Config. Now we'll open the OMM and go to Radio Fix Parts. I'll click on the Start button so Capture is allowed. There is my third RFP. Click on the edit icon and I get a message the system is completely configured. There are no free resources available for adding further radio fix parts. Before we can add a third LRFP, we will need to import a license file that will activate the built-in license features. For this next step, we will need three RFP MAC addresses, which are right here on the radio fix parts page. You will also need the TAD code and PARC code that is printed on the OMM system CD. The process is pretty simple. We will go to the license server web page and enter the three LRFP MAC addresses, the TAD code and the PARC code, and you will be prompted to download a license file. We will then import the license file into the OMM to activate the license features and unlock the system's full 20 LRFP capacity. So let's begin. Open a web browser window and go to http colon forward slash forward slash license dot astra dot de. Click on the tab Generation of Licenses. Then on the left, click on Generate License. Select the license carrier type SIP DEC. One at a time. Enter the three LRFP MAC addresses. Double check to make sure you've typed the addresses correctly. Then click on the Check MAC button. From the drop down menu, select your release. Enter the TAD code printed on the OMM CD. Click on Check TAD. Enter the PARC code printed on the OMM system CD. Optionally, you can leave this field blank and the system will generate a new PARC code. However, this will require resubscription of the handsets. Under License Products, verify the checkbox is checked for OM System Activation for LRFP installations. Click on the Generate License button. A pop-up message will recap what I just told you about the PARC codes. Click on the OK button. Click on Download Importable File and save the file. If you're not sure where to save the file, I like to use my desktop so I know exactly where the file was saved. We are now finished with the License Server web page. Return to the OMM. You may need to log back in. From the menu on the left, click on Licenses. Then under License File Import, click on Browse. Navigate to the location or folder where you save the license file. I saved my license file to my desktop, so I will select Desktop and then select the license file and click on Open. The final step is to click on the Import button. The OMM will restart with the new license features activated and expand your system capacity to 20 RFPs. In your browser, relaunch the OMM IP address and log back in. Now let's look at the status screen. 
you will see the license field has been updated and the system can now be configured with up to 20 LRFPs. So I'll return to Radio Fix Parts and continue to configure the third RFP. I'll click on the Edit icon, give it a name, check the Deck setting box, and assign it to Deck Cluster number 1 and click OK. The third RFP is active and connected. You can see in deck cluster number one, I now have three radio fix parts. And that completes the installation of the third RFP. We hope you found this tutorial helpful on the Astra SIP deck basic installation.